On Saturday night, there's one fighter who crosses the borders between hockey and mixed martial arts. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, and we're excited, man, to see Steve Basse in action. But fans uh, here at the network, we've been showing his fights always, really since day one. And he's got something special, this guy. He was put on earth to fight. I want to take a look at him in the breakdown. Ram Dean and I were talking about it earlier. This guy literally was put on earth to fight, and you see it when he gets into the cage. Ten wins, eight by knockout in mixed martial arts. This guy is a very, very good mixed martial arts fighter. What's a mixed martial arts fighter? Hey, you're watching Fight Network. You know what one is. Steve Basse, he is a mixed martial arts fighter, and you see him in the cage. He loves to get that right hand on you. He likes to move in and pressure you. His striking is very good. He's good in the clinch, and he likes a blood and gut style fight. He's got blood all over him there. He likes to get that right hand on. He's an action fighter. The audience loves him. He can get you down to the ground. One and two punch knockout power. Look at that power right there. This is an exciting fighter. People are going to love watching him fight. But you know what? That is a hockey jersey, I'm told, because this man used to play hockey. In Canada, we have a beloved hockey player, a guy who has a very special job. Not going to score you a lot of goals, not going to get you a lot of assists, but he is going to do one other thing. He is known as the hockey goon, an enforcer or noted tough guy, known for his fighting skills. This guy has 97 recorded fights in his hockey career. In 2006, 2007, he recorded 32 fights. And a typical goon fight looks a little something like this. You need to enter and get the grip and then drill right hands. Goon fight, goon fight, goon fight, right? The thing with Steve Basse, he is not your typical goon. He has a little collection of skills you often don't see. Watch first. He wants the glove touch. First of all, you dropped your glove, Steve. I don't know how many times you've been hit in the head, but it's a glove touch nonetheless. And you see him fainting right away, moving his head, showing faints, and he needs to enter, get the grip, and get to work with his right hand. You're going to see right here, something you don't see too often from a goon. You're going to see him go to the body. Yeah, it's padded in there, but he gets you to react to the body and then comes up to the head. You see the control on the jersey. That's where you get your leverage as you pull him forward you can also use it to turn into him but he uses that in a distracting way to jab as well so once he gets you moving forward he'll jab using the jersey and unsettle your balance so his control there's some more body shots by Steve goes to the body now he'll control you forward and backward trying to land his right hand and you see we sped this one up because there's a lot of circling but you know what this guy has the endurance to go for a long time in one of these like I said 97 and look you gotta have a chin too because he's gonna eat a couple of them right here dude's got a great chin but he'll put pressure forward pressure forward and he wills his way through a lot of these fights and there's a real camaraderie a real brotherhood a real sense of class watch here as he jerseys him he knows that's too dangerous right Right there and he calls an end to it he also loves to get the audience going in Canada nothing works up people especially Quebec like a hockey fight and Steve Bosse knows how to get the audience going this is his most complete performance he eats a left hand early watch here his opponent very very tough you're gonna see Steve use the leverage of that control to slip the left watch right here slips the left and comes up with the right hand that's some badass goonery right there and you see it one more time slips and comes up with the right hand and you're gonna see something here you you never see in a hockey fight. Watch this. Changes his level, double leg takedown. Boom. We got to see that one more time. Steve Basse slips the left, double leg takedown. So you look at this guy's skills as a hockey fighter and you think, how can we improve him in mixed martial arts? What tools does he have and what can we build on? You see DC and Jones here. In this collar tie, this dirty boxing, you can control it very similar to the way that you would control with a jersey and use it for leverage. And if we add knees and we add elbows and we add work within the chaos inside of the clinch that look at that beautiful uppercut that is what we need and you see it right here Basse now goes to the double collar both forearms drilled into the collarbones control on the back of the head and goes to work inside this is his last fight and you see how complete he is and there's an elbow as well his biggest win Houston Alexander you see him working inside the chaos there as well see there as he's just getting inside he's gonna drill knees drill 
real elbows. Control, he wants it to feel like a hockey fight because he's got 97 of them and you've got none. And inside, watch the timing and the distance, the elbow to put Houston Alexander away. Nice stuff right there. Those are the years of working inside of that range and understanding the chaos. This goon right here is a hell of a mixed martial arts fighter. He's going to make his debut at UFC 186 and the audience is going to go nuts just like they did back in the day when he was entertaining people in the League North American hockey. Oh yeah, they're going to go nuts at the Bell Center, that is for sure.